Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back for the ABCs of Horror Challenge with my review of Holy Moly. The ABCs of Horror is a challenge in which we make our way from A to Z. Along the way, we pick out horror movies beginning with each letter of the alphabet, watch them, and review them. We must go in order, and we cannot skip any letters. I've arrived at H, and H is for Holy Moly. While completing this challenge, I've wanted to add some variety to my picks. I like to watch and discuss movies that don't get a lot of attention elsewhere. Obscure horror is some of my favorite horror, and Holy Moly is as obscure as they come. I found this DVD last year at a thrift store, and at the time I had no idea what it was. I saw the cover, though, and then saw the back of the DVD, and knew I wasn't leaving the store without it. Holy Moly is a 1992 shot-on-VHS horror film. I personally love shot-on-video horror, and wanted to have some sort of representation of it in this challenge. Holy Moly is one of those DVDs I bought and have thought about ever since but for some reason, never watched it until now. I have a tendency of getting excited about certain movies, but then saving them for a special occasion. I guess it sort of builds upon the anticipation I have about watching them. Well, the special occasion in this case is the ABCs of Horror Challenge. An interesting thing about this horror obscurity is it's so rare that very little information can be found about it online. Even IMDB lacks information, and the information it does contain isn't all accurate. The runtime, for one thing, listed on IMDB is actually of the recut version from 1999, which is also included on this DVD as a bonus feature. The original 1992 cut is the one I watched in preparation for this video. A preacher, literally named Holy Moly, walks the neighborhood, greeting his friends and neighbors. He gives his sermon to a nearly empty church, with the exception of a kid reading a Fangoria magazine, which I thought was cool. And then, on the way home, he meets a mysterious stranger. The stranger's name is Vile. Vile Lynn. Their first interaction seems cordial enough. But moments later, Holy Moly is attacked by Vile. The preacher is told he has been watched and he has been chosen. From this point on, we witness the downward spiral of Holy Moly. He sees horrors when he sleeps, and horrors when he's awake. The line is blurred between nightmare and reality. Then, Holy commits murder, killing one of his friends, chopping up his body, and disposing of it in a lake. The evil vile has even more nasty ideas for Holy. Can the preacher withstand the demonic temptation? Will Holy kill again? And who will win the ultimate battle between good and evil? Or Holy and Vile? Holy moly, this was fun. It was so well done with what I can only expect was the most minimal budget possible. The practical effects are actually really good considering the budget. I love the makeup and the costumes. The kills and violent visuals surprisingly look more realistic than a lot of other horror films I've seen. 
this whole film felt like I was watching a Halloween haunt walkthrough, even though Holy Moly is not set on Halloween. That's mainly because of the makeup, masks, and effects. They are things you could expect to see in a Halloween haunt. There are scenes of Holy throwing up, and if the actor wasn't really puking, then I have no idea how they achieved that effect. If it was genuine vomit, I'd call that dedication to the craft. You can definitely feel the passion with SOV horror like this, and holy moly is no exception. I have a great fondness and appreciation for films like this. They bring me back to a time like the 80s and 90s, when anyone could just grab a camcorder and make a movie. That makes me happy. It's nostalgia without actually being nostalgic for the specific film. Like I said, this was a first-time watch for me, so I had no prior attachment. Even still, I somehow felt a connection to it. And wow, the ending, I think I actually said wow out loud while watching this alone. I love this. This is my kind of obscure horror. Holy moly is a shot on VHS horror gem I'm happy to have in my collection. For me, in the ABCs of horror, H is for holy moly. Please be sure to check out everyone else participating in the challenge to see what they review. And if you'd like to join in, please feel free. You can do this at your own pace. Just start with the letter A and make your way through each letter without skipping any. It doesn't matter how long it takes to finish. It's meant to be fun. I'd be surprised if you did, but I'll ask anyway. Have you seen... Holy moly? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Which horror movie beginning with the letter I will I review for the ABCs of horror? Check back soon to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>